Hi, this is Ross from ProTech Epoxy Floors, Newport Ritchie, Florida. Today we're starting a job in Tarpon Springs, two-car garage with baseboards. There's a couple things going on here that are a little bit uh, different than normal. So uh, back here, there's a secondary garage. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down as much as we can. That's practical. And we're going to do baseboards up until this spot, but we're going to double coat polyaspartic the concrete over to protect the, the uh, concrete itself. So uh, over here, we have a couple things we got to worry about with the baseboards. Uh, here it's pretty straight up until we go to over here. So we're going to have to fill these voids with some backer rod and thickened epoxy compound in order to uh, get the baseboard in there. Uh, there's a, you know, a couple coatings on here, but this looks like it's going to grind relatively easy. And this color that we're going to put in here today is California gray. Okay, here we are. We're all finished up. This uh, garage floor probably had like an overlayment installed or something. Because man, oh man, oh chef, it's, it was a lot of dust and a lot of material came off this floor to get back down to the aggregate. But once we got back down to the aggregate, the floor was in very good shape. It was actually a lot of ag in it, which is good. So this floor is definitely solid. So here's where that back door is. So initially we were going to try to drop this down a little bit and get it more level with the garage, but there just wasn't enough room to really grind it down as you can see it's only about i don't know five inches or so but what we did do was uh during that process we did lower it a little bit and we rounded it over but we also put a little relief in there so uh the floor is really protected coming and going so it's almost below grade from the back garage so this is what our prep looked like in this area before we uh, did the final chips and epoxy. So uh, what we did was we cut like a keyway in along the doorway and made it level with the uh, floor in the back. And like I said, uh, it was very difficult to uh, actually grind this because there wasn't much depth to go in and drop it too much. Uh, and also, as you can see, this floor, once you got off the, top, the uh, cap, it was very very strong you can see all the aggregate in here this was like a really nice floor so uh what we did was like i said we we put that keyway in so that when it gets driven over it's flush with the back garage and then what we did was uh <clears throat> after removing all the material we dropped it down in the front probably about a quarter inch or so so this is going to be like a really strong lead-in edge into the back garage which is really going to be very functional. So uh, this really turned out nice. Which looks nice, but it's also going to be very functional. So we just finished putting our uh, polyaspartic top coat on here. Again, this is a two car garage with the baseboard option. There were some voids along the uh, floor here where the wall board met the floor, but we filled that all in. Then we put an epoxy compound in there, so it's solid. We got back a rod in there to, you know, just bring it out, fill those large voids. This color is California gray. This edge just uh, laid out real nice the way it was.
Job looks great. Thanks for watching. Pro Tech Epoxy Floors, Newport Ritchie, Florida. We professionally install beauty and durability. Pro Tech serves both residential and commercial customers in Pasco, Hernando, Hillsboro, and Pinellas counties. Please call or text 727 916 2314 to discuss your project. We look forward to being of service. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, or subscribe.